Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2023 BMW M440i X-Drive Cabriolet in Alpine White. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW M440i X-Drive Cabriolet in Alpine White. And uh, I've got the headlights on there for you. We're gonna do a little walk around the car and of course, I've got the top down already. The white definitely has a very clean appearance to it, of course, and uh, a lot of cool things to go through on this vehicle. So without further ado, let's take a look at all the details. Okay, so this is the Alpine White 2023 M440i X-Drive Cabriolet. So I've just hit the unlock button so we can get the headlights on. And now I'm just gonna press and hold panic button so we can get the pathway lighting on. So you can see what the full headlight system looks like. So that looks really cool. We have 50 years of M, BMW anniversary rondelle right up front here. And we have black exterior content. So we've got the black uh, kidney grill surround, all of these accents are still in cerium gray, unlike the M Performance Editions I showcased recently on my channel. And we've got <coughs> black air intake ducts on the lower fascia there on the apron as part of the black exterior contents. We've also got individual shadow line headlights, which mean that the entire housing inside is all black instead of chrome. And if we come around to the side here, we have the 19 inch double spoke 797M wheels in matte black burnished. So all of this is matte black, not gloss black, which has a really nice sophisticated look to it. And of course we have those massive red M Sport brakes, which I think really look good behind these bicolor burnished uh, wheels. We've got the cerium gray M badging here on the front fender. And then we've got the body line that cuts all the way across. This body line that comes back and up. And of course, <clears throat> we have the top down. So I think this car looks really cool. With the top down, we have black side mirrors, black window surrounds. We have the fuel cap door here on the passenger side, and there's the rear 19 inch wheel again. Uh, 50 years center caps there. Now from the back of the vehicle, so I'm just gonna get those tail lights on for you, so definitely looks like a little baby M4. We've also got that nice welcome light carpet down there as well. We've got horizontal reflectors on the back here with the freeform exhaust. M440i badging in cerium gray anniversary rondo with the camera integrated into it cerium x drive badge and uh, this is going to be the last year for this appearance uh, as we are expecting 2024 to have an LCI however BMW has not given us any information as to if there will be any type of cosmetic change to the exterior of the vehicle but one thing we know for certain is iDrive 7 will be replaced with iDrive 8 and that shift knob is going away for the new uh, clicker style shift knob. So that's going to be a definite change. Now, because we've got the top down already, I'm just gonna head back here and kick my foot into the car so we can use the kick just to open the tailgate. And once that's open, this black piece is down because the top is down, so normally, uh, if the top was up, I could move that up, giving us more space. We have a little netted area on this side with a 12 volt plug and the escape handle. And then this side, there's another little netted area where we find our release lever to fold down the seats in a 50-50 split. And if I lift this panel here, that's where we'll find our tools, wheel lock key, tow hook, that's good stuff. Put that back into place. And then once we're done here, 
There's a handle here so I can close this without touching the exterior of the vehicle. Fuel cap door is connected to the central locking system. So when the car is unlocked, so is this. We're looking for 91 octane. Shell V power is what it likes the most. And it's counterclockwise, one click. Spot there to put it. And clockwise, one click to close it, just like so. And if I do approach from the passenger front side here, open up the door. So we do have the comfort access touch, so the inside unlocks with the key in proximity. The three lines will lock the car. So inside here we have the black Vernoska leather with the blue contrast stitching, which means that we do get the M colors on the piping, which is really awesome. We also have Harman Kardon sound system, galvanic controls, which means these controls here are in silver. We have the aluminum M door sill. Winter mats are in power seat with manual under the thigh extension here and you'll notice on the headrest there's a vent there for your air scarves and if I move this by lifting that up and putting the seat into the acute position the seat will luxuriously move forward allowing a space into the back here and this is the seat belt delivery system so once you shut the door the seat belt will come out to pass it to you and in the back area here, so we do have two seating positions. Uh, we have a little storage cubby on the side here with a big speaker, cup holders. And in the middle, we've got some vents, rear climate controls, uh, two USB Type-C charging ports. There's also vents underneath the front seats for your rear passenger's feet. But I wanted to pull this part down, so I, I popped it earlier, to reveal that this is where the um, wind deflector is kept so you just have to lift that up so you can take this entire bag out and Inside the bag is the wind deflector So I'm quickly just going to install it to show you what it looks like and then I'll put it back All right, so there are four pegs and four holes So what I've done is I've just aligned them all so I just want you to see once it's in there You just press it flat this part goes down to lock it into place and then you can lift that up to diffuse the wind this can stay here if you want it, but uh, it doesn't have to. And then when you're done, to take it out, you put that back down. And if you lift this flap up, you can just go like this and it can come right out. It's actually way easier to take out than it is to put in. So let me just put it away now. All right, so I got it back in the bag there. So I just want to show you, I popped the release there. So this step is important. You put this back here like so you got to put this thing back down to hold it into place so it's not moving around while you're driving and then you can put that part back and then once you move the seat back into the recline position it will go back to the previous position that it was in so you don't have to mess around with it too much let's go open the door on the driver's side okay so from the driver's side if I open that door so from this side you can see that there's a button here that allows uh, the headrest to move in or out like so We have full power seat with lumbar and side bolster We have some window controls here that will get gal galvanic so each individual four windows all four windows at once once memory buttons tailgate release Harman Kardon Exterior lighting is here. I've got the beautiful lilac ambient light going on. I'm just going to sit in here for one second. So we've got iDrive 7. There's a little seat belt uh, passer. <laughs> I don't know what that thing's called. Um, nice M steering wheel, cruise control, radio controls here. You've got your paddle shifters. You've got board computer button, automatic high beams. Your signals will blink three times to give other th in, uh, drivers three indications you're changing lanes. Wiper stock on this side, I'm just going to move it up to auto, so leave it in this position, the light is there to let you know. And you can control the intermittent speed up or down on the face, and pulling and holding will spray the front. Now over here, physical climate controls, programmable memory buttons. Down here we have a communication pad that's not a wireless charger, USB-A, cup holders, 12 volt plug, and then here we've got your traditional style shifter 
with all your three modes, air scarves, so if you want hot air to come out at your neck, uh, you can achieve that, and this is the convertible top operation from here. So now what we'll do is let me just open the door and you'll see that goes back. And then down here, this is the hood release, so it says two times, one, two, Let's go to the front of the vehicle next. So now we can just lift this up. And there it is, the beautiful B58 three liter inline six twin power turbo. So that's 382 horsepower, 369 foot pounds of torque. We've got some strut braces under here, positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal, washer fluid, inline six legend right here now what i'd like to do is i'm just going to grab the key here m colors on the side and if i press and hold the lock button like so this gets the convertible top operation going sorry for the loud cars driving by so you can put this top up and down while you're in motion at speeds up to 40 kilometers per hour but that doesn't mean to test it at the limit, it's just so that you don't have to get out of the traffic flow uh, and lose your space in line if that's the reason uh, or if that's where you're doing this. So now the convertible top is up. So now I'm just going to walk around one more time because this vehicle definitely has a different profile with the top up. Now, personally, I think I would I think I like it, how it looks better with the top down. But uh, I understand why they went with the soft top this time. It's more for weight reduction and weight balance for performance more so than anything. And you can definitely still use the soft top convertible all year round. But I know that some people complain because the F generation 4 Series cab was a hard top. So now that we're back here again, I'm just gonna kick my foot under here one more time to show you that this can now be moved out of the way so you can actually have quite a bit more space if you do not intend to put the top down. So that's pretty cool. And we're at the back of the car, so let's try this out. Here's the key, one, two, three on the lock button. So that was one, two, three on the lock button again to shut it off. Sounded good as we have come to expect from the B58. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, everyone. So that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW M440i X-Drive Cabriolet in Alpine white with the black Vernosca leather in there with the blue contrast stitching, my favorite with the M piping. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. If you're interested in pricing information, that is all in the description. Uh, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.